there, damn it. Yeah, this is another way of light a fire. No <laughs> light or fluid. It's quite windy. I think it's. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> my finger. Yeah, that's it. Fuck. Oh shit. Yeah, there's a lot of them. That's true. I don't have time to worry about fire sticks. That'll die down anyways in a minute. Yeah. Well that for years. Gosh. Just a quick view from on top of the dunes, looking down at the campsite. Yeah. You can see we are heading down here to the beach for a walk. Well, last night it was absolutely lashing, and of course, to go out for us ladies, to go out into the wet, you know yourself. Uh, so the boys were getting peed on as they were peeing. But I didn't have to because of this. I have to say it's absolutely brilliant. Especially if you're travelling in a car or that as well. And it seals off. And you can empty it then in the morning or that. You can use it once or twice, three times maybe, depending on what your flow is, does it? Or there's also this. It's the shiwi. Now I don't really use this an awful lot. Um, I don't really like it that much. A thing, but I have to say, emergency, emergency. This is it. Now you use the top, the big bit, on top, and the small bit on the bottom. Everyone thinks that you know this is the right way to flow it down. That'll go on your shoes. So this is the way. The t big fat bit to the top and a small bit to the bottom and it flows then away. So just handy, you know. Yeah. Right, good luck. Good okay. Back. You, you, you'll send out a search party and rescue me? No, no, we, we, we'll help ourselves to whatever's in your car. Okay. Wish me good luck here, dog. Now I'm going to do a slow motion. Ah! Ow! Ow! Watch out, your dog, it's cold. It's very cold. Remember me! Remember me! All joking aside, it is cold. It is freezing, yeah. That is very cold. <laughs> Oh, 
Wow, it's absolutely gorgeous out here. But it is freezing. The Atlantic Ocean. This is what divides the Irish from <laughs> a lot of other people. It's cold water. And the shark got him. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was fun, but better not to press it too much. It is a bit cold. As I said earlier, last thing you want is hypothermia or that. So, good to always here on the side of caution. See, go to the uh, good fishing competition on this beach tonight. Dog mind him a stuff. Another thing is handy to have is someone to keep an eye on you when you are swimming, make sure everything's safe and if you ever did get into trouble. Even if you're a good swimmer you never know you could get a cramp or something. So it's always good to have someone around to have your back. So as you can see, fresh is already camped up, putting the bits away. My tent has never been struck and got a foot of it. Jay's doing probably the hardest part of camping, putting a tent into a bag. Which he's actually doing a good job of. <laughs> That's a good big bag though. A lot of the time camp bags for the tents are just ridiculously tight. Yeah, that's a handy one. That's a tent too. It actually is. So we're going to tidy up and bring all our bits with us, leave nothing behind. And as you can see, here's our camp. We've the fry on and the coffee's boiling. And it's actually going to be quite a nice day for the drive home. So it's Bronze Age. They actually uh, dated those beehive huts, which are generally medieval, to uh, Bronze Age. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, here we are at a viewing point. Look at those views there. But as you can see, hopefully see off in the distance, those two islands are the Skelligs. And I want them as Skellig Michael, the famous uh, early medieval monastic settlement and even more famous for Luke Skywalker and Yoda living on them now. So, nice view lads. Oh Yoda! Oh Yoda, where are you? <laughs> the force is strong with you. Amazing how it's 
Yeah. Yeah. This went all the way up and around. Yeah. yeah. Just kept the elements out. And the big owls. Oh, here's a couple of idiots. Hello. 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 Idiots. Over there is Skellig Islands. Comes from Star Wars. These are beehive huts. Something similar. These would have been family homesteads, as you see, got a good outer wall, and would possibly date from the Iron Age, but maybe more likely the early medieval, about 580. So, here's a couple of idiots. Hello. Hello. Straight away, they're gonna doesn't fall over like they just go in. Yeah, it's actually carbling, how to call it. They basically stack one on top of the other and they keep working them off, yeah. So I go inside this one. So you can see this actually would have been one of the houses. That on the ground there possibly might have been a heart. Or definitely used for something. And there's the lintel. So yeah, carbling is basically you start at the bottom and as you build your wall up you move slowly and slowly inside and then when you hit the top all the uh, stones join at the very top. So that's how to have a beehive structure. Now we go into this other one. Again, massive dry stone wall and no masonry used. Which lets you know straight away that it's at least early medieval. Could even be earlier. There's possible another heart structure for a fire. As you can see, these would be quite small for a large family. But again, these would have been farmers. It's interesting there. It's a stone with something carved out of it. Then you have these lintels and these two upright stones here. And this structure over here is a Christian cross. Now it's been worked over more modern times, but was it there from the time of the beehive huts? Was it added later on? Or is it more modern? It's kind of hard to tell, but it'll be nearly safe to say it's probably a Christian cross. Even though the cross motif you can get in in much more nearly prehistoric buildings as well. So this is also a square building. So quite possibly have been the church, but I doubt if this is a farmstead. Just uh, doing some guesswork. <laughs> yeah. This is good, so I can actually see the carbon in a full effect here. So, let me just get a torch on here for a second. So, as you 
as you can see, there's a schoolhouse that was filmed in Ryan's daughter on the way down to it. It's actually this little shrine. Interesting. It's a, you know, a modern statue in there. People even offerings. Sacred area around here to people. Everything normal. Like village is a pub and everything in it and uh, two farmers, three farmers I think were fighting over it. So in the end they couldn't agree who owned the land and uh, knocked the whole thing down. And if you see the whole set it's actually they built a complete Village like out of stones, everything. Yeah. Um, so we don't know where actually it was. Hmm. Jade, see, it wasn't actually along there because you film this is all the drive up and on there, but ah. So we go up that way as so well, you see. Okay. But like at the line, just kind man, of wanting nice. Yeah. <laughs> Sugar. <laughs> Would you like some coffee with your sugar by any chance? Uh, pitch, pitch. Well guys, the camp is nearly dismantled. We're having our coffee, a bit of brekkie, then we're heading home. I'm afraid this camp's been a bit of a disaster, but you'll see that. We had a lot more footage, but due to rain and all sorts of mishaps. But anyway, it's a learning curve guys. We hope you learned something from it. We know we didn't. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Except bring uh, fully charged batteries. And yeah. Pick up your dog poo. Yeah. No matter what. And set up a camera just in case fresh tent blows away, which is what happened, but we didn't have a camera set up. It didn't, yeah. it didn't. No proof. Yeah. No proof. And uh, I think for we're going to separate the car camping from the hiking camping. We had a lot of equipment with us this time. We literally tested things to destruction. <laughs> we, we broke a lot of equipment in this, in this episode. But, yeah, look guys, we look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Cheers. Cheers. That's not coffee. That's bloody Bovril. <laughs> what the? <laughs>